Before this video begins, if you've just come here to look for a quick solution to solve the problems between your MSI laptop and your TP-Link router, please skip to this point in the video to have a too long didn't watch version of the solution. Thank you. Now to the video. Hello! So you have an MSI laptop and you have a TP-Link router and you find out that you cannot connect the two. When you connect the two, either the router goes crazy or the laptop goes crazy. You suddenly cannot connect to any Wi-Fi and your device manager doesn't show your uh, Wi-Fi card at all. So, you've come here for a solution. I have a very quick solution. The solution actually is that you need to update your driver. You just need to update your driver. Simple as that. Now, I'm not going to do some screen capture or anything. I'm just going to use my friend's MSI laptop to show you what's going on. So, so before we start, I want to show you what it looks like when you connect to a TP-Link router with an MSI laptop. I think this is a real problem because this is not the first MSI laptop that I've encountered that has this problem. I have three friends that use MSI laptops and they cannot connect to my TP-Link router. The TP-Link router I'm using is the Archer C5. So, example, this is what happens when he connects. When I connect, okay, hold on, let me type password. So as you can see, it's connected to the router now, but in a while, it will disconnect by itself. Okay, so how does the problem start? The problem starts by you seeing a limited connection, not this one now, a limited connection on your Wi-Fi icon at the bottom of the taskbar. The limited connection uh, with the TP-Link router, meaning that you cannot go online, you cannot go and do anything. If you try to disconnect from the connection with the TP-Link router, you will have, you will find that this happens. You get a red icon over your Wi-Fi icon over there, meaning that it cannot find any Wi-Fi connections at all. And if you go to your device manager right here, you will see that there is no more Wi-Fi card in your network adapters. How to get your Wi-Fi card back? You need to restart your computer, which takes longer than usual. And then when you start your computer back up, you better make sure that your TP-Link router is turned off because if it recognizes a TP-Link router and it remembers, it will try to connect again and you have this problem all over again. How to solve the problem? It's very easy. You just need to update your driver. You might find that when you go to your device manager, right click and update driver from there, it's no use because it will tell you that you have the most up-to-date driver. The Windows 10 system doesn't look for the most up-to-date driver. You need to install it directly from the Intel website. So, links in the description on the way you need to download the drivers and you need to make sure that your model is the same as listed on the website. So I'm going to restart the computer and show you that the network card is back. At this point, the computer has already been restarting for almost a minute which doesn't happen it shouldn't be like this but because I don't know it's going haywire with the Wi-Fi card thing so it's it doesn't know what's going on I'm just gonna skip to when it actually restarts and the Wi-Fi card is already back update on what happened it didn't even restart it just showed this error and now it's doing something it's gonna restart soon so as soon as it restarts I think just to play it safe I'm gonna turn off the router So after 10 minutes of restarting, and not even completely restarting, after 10 minutes of attempting to restart and coming across an error, the computer is now restarted and connected to the old wireless network that it was connected to, not the TP-Link network. Okay, so let me show you. And see, even after the restart, the computer still takes a while to get back into shape because I think it's still messed up from the... TP-Link connection. See, it's connected to the old one. The TP-Link router is turned off, that's, which is why it doesn't go haywire like it did before. And if we go into the device manager, after restarting the computer and going back into the device manager, you can see now that the Intel Dual Band Wireless AC3165 is back here. So this is the one that went haywire when we connected it to the TP-Link router. Okay, so how to solve the problem? Long story short, you just need to update the driver. But if you try to right click here and click update driver and search automatically, you'll see that it tells you that you have the best driver installed. But this is a lie. The kick is a lie. You need to go to the Intel website and download the driver for this device. After you click on the link in the description, you just come to this website and then you click on whatever operating system you're using. This is Windows 10 64 bit. And then they should show two drivers here. One is Bluetooth and one is Intel ProSet Wireless. You need to download this one, Intel ProSet Wireless for Windows 10 because this computer is using Windows 10. Then download whatever driver you want. Note that the compatible drivers are listed here. So if you're using one of these devices and you are encountering this problem, feel free to download these drivers 
and uh, you should not have this problem anymore. Uh, so I'm going to proceed to download and install this driver. After that, you're supposed to restart the computer and by that time, you should be all good. Okay, now the driver is installed, the computer is restarted and by right, if you connect back to the same TP-Link router with the same computer, there should be no problem at all and it should not disconnect or kill your wireless card, Wi-Fi card like it did before. If the problem still persists, then I suggest taking your laptop to the shop or maybe even your router to the shop because I don't know which one is at fault here. Either one could be at fault. Uh, the situation could be different from you for you. The Wi-Fi card used in this situation was the Intel Dual Band Wireless 3165. I think that was the number. I think a lot of laptops use these Wi-Fi cards nowadays. So, so this problem might be very common amongst people that have laptops with these Wi-Fi cards and TP-Link routers. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. If you really like my content, please subscribe. I'll make more videos like this if people like it. Uh, so this is the too long didn't watch version of this video. I know how you feel, the video might be too long, you don't want to know so much, you just want to troubleshoot, you just want to know how to solve your problem. So your problem is, you have an MSI laptop and you have a TP-Link router. You want to connect your MSI laptop to the TP-Link router but something goes wrong, your MSI Wi-Fi card goes crazy, you suddenly cannot connect to Wi-Fi, you need to restart your computer, it takes such a long time. Long story short, go and install the driver that is linked in the video description, install it, restart your computer, everything should be fine. This is the long story short. If you like these kind of videos, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.